Shabbat Shalom and good morning, Temple Israel of Greater Miami. I hope that this message finds you all in good health. I've been doing a lot, a lot of reading lately, and I wanted to share with you some stuff that I was just reading that I think would be uh, interesting as we go into this Shabbat. It says, you have the life that you're willing to put up with. So I ask, do you hate your job? Are you in a bad relationship? Is there something wrong with your health? Okay, so get a new job and a relationship. Change your diet and exercise or locate the kind of help that you need. So it seems simple, doesn't it? Even when it comes to the things you seemingly had no say in, like a death of a loved one or losing a business, each of us has a massive say in the ways that we live our life in the aftermath of those events. What it's saying is if you're not willing to take the actions to change your situation, we're actually willing to put up with this situation, then whether or not we like it, this is the life that we choose for ourselves. So I want us to think about how there's so many things in our lives that happen, everything is unpredictable. The only thing predictable about life is that it's unpredictable. And I want us to think about the decisions that we make and how we put Kavanaugh intention towards those decisions and how we are always trying our best to make the best decision with the information we have. Theodore Roosevelt said the following, in any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. And the worst thing you can do is nothing. So as we approach and go through this Shabbat, as we get faced in our lives with questions and dilemmas and challenges, May we take a deep breath, look inside, look to our connection to one another and to God, and may we try to make the best decision for that moment. And after making that decision, if we realize new information has come to our eyes, new feelings have arisen, let us reassess those decisions and make a new decision based on that information. The worst thing Judaism says is to stay put. It reminds us through tzedek, tzedek, tir dof, justice, justice, you shall pursue that we must always be actively engaging in our lives, that we must always be looking for the right and whatever that right looks like at that moment, we must do so going towards it with our passion and our actions and not just think about it in our heads and feel it in our hearts. The Shabbat, we face a lot in the Torah and as Moses ascends the mountain, and gets the first set of 10 commandments and comes down and seeing that the Jews have strayed, that we've lost faith. May we remember that within ourselves, sometimes we have to peel back those times where the decisions we've made have really placed us in a place that we're uncomfortable and let us peel those moments back and make new decisions and take one foot and place it in front of the other and start walking towards our own promised lands. Shabbat Shalom.